Yo, what's up, man? This is your boy Hood, man. I'm finna hit y'all up with another episode of the podcast. Listen up real quick. This is a truthful podcast episode. This is not one I'm just, you know, talking about my opinion. This one that happened for real in my life. So I want y'all to like and subscribe because I'm hitting y'all with the truth, a true situation. So basically, uh, about five, six years ago, my son was about, I don't know, maybe it's been longer than five, six years ago. Uh, maybe he was probably about 11. So he's like 21 now. So maybe, so that was like 10 years ago. Something like that. He's 20, so maybe he's like 9 or 10 at the time. Uh, so at the time, no, man, no, he's like 11. I think he's about 11. So it's probably about 9 or 10 years ago. So make a long story short, what happened was uh, uh, he, Kevin Hart's comedian, everybody know who he is. I'm sure you, you know who he is listening to this podcast right now. And uh, he's funny. He's a very funny comedian. And my son was getting into him. Like, you know, I, I grew I'm a little older, so I grew up with other comedians that I liked, like, uh, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy. So when Kevin Hart came around, I didn't dislike him, but it's just, you know, I had heard his music. I mean, I heard other people that I thought were both funny, but I'm older. I'm, I was 50, so it's like way different era, different time frame and all that. So my son was loving Kevin Hart. We watched, we knew this. So he was watching him and, you know, listening to his stuff all the time in his bedroom and all this stuff. It was just his life, you know, we, it's our kid. So, you know, whatever. Well, I'll make a long story short. My kid came to us one time and he said, Hey, uh, won't y'all listen to this podcast with me? And we was like, Oh, okay, all right. I'm sorry, he said, Why don't y'all watch this Kevin Hart show with me? Now we had prior to that, me and my wife, I think we had been to the movies and we saw one of Kevin Hart uh movies. And it was the time when he had Halle Berry in it. So I think this is the cat the one after that. Or oh, my son was so young, he was watching a, a earlier one. And he was just like getting a, getting up on it, like he because he's young. So I guess his little era and his homies they were starting to talk about this guy Kevin Hart, and they you know was interested in watching more of, of him. So my son was like, "Yo, Dad, you know, um, I want to talk to you. You know, let me, like let me, let me, let's listen to Kevin Hart. Come come to my bedroom. I want y'all to come in my bedroom, and we're gonna watch it in my room." And so me and my wife like, uh, okay, yeah, all right, we gonna come in your room, and we'll watch Kevin Hart show. You know, with you and shit, we're going to hang out with the baby and go watch Kevin Hart. So this is what we were doing. We went into the room. We were about to go watch Kevin Hart. And my son, uh, he is 11 years old. So he gets his little laptop or whatever we watching it on. Maybe his TV. So we watching on his TV. We got to just watch Kevin Hart. This is the thing he wanted to do. So we in here. We what we watching Kevin Hart. And it's coming on. It's, it's funny. Kevin Hart is cracking us up. So all of a sudden, my son... Is laughing. He, he's laughing at the jokes, and it's normal. It's like it just was normal. And then all of a sudden, he got ready to stand up in the middle of laughing, and he literally just passed out. He literally just passed out in front of us and like conked out. Like I don't even know another word to say. Like he just kind of like went away. Like like all my, and to us or to me at least, it looked like he died. So I'm staring like, what the hell? He hit the ground. He hit the like the side of the bed and then he hit the ground because he was right on the side of his bed laughing. He was sitting on the bed, but then he tried to stand up and then he fell. So he kind of fell to the, you know, he bumped the bed a little bit, then he hit the ground. So I, I'm I'm looking at this like, well, what the hell? How does he don't understand? Like, he looked like he lost all his senses, his physical body senses. So I'm like, what what is the hell going on? So I get over there to him and I pick him up real fast. And I'm like, yo, Damani, 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 Damani. He not answering he just literally out, eyes closed and everything. And I'm just like, Damani, Damani, Damani. He still ain't answering. And it's like my my wife's getting scared. She's screaming. And I'm I'm starting to pray now because he literally just conked out in front of me. And he's not responding. And I got him in my hands. He's lifeless. Like he's freaking heavy as hell. He's just lifeless. He's just sitting there not even looking, not even saying nothing. And I'm like, Damani, 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 Damani. I mean, it's probably about a good 30 seconds where he's just sitting here, not even responding. And we just like shocked because we can't believe this is happening. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, man. Wake up, what's wrong? Damani, you okay? And he not saying nothing back. So we like, what in the, oh my God. In my opinion, I thought he died because he just wouldn't speak back. He wouldn't say nothing to us. He wouldn't respond. He wouldn't say nothing. I thought he passed away. So I'm steady shaking him and I'm praying, God, God, please don't take my son from me. Please don't take my son from me. God, please, please don't take my son from me. And all of a sudden, he started coming back to life. And then he said, what, 
what, what happened? And we said, what happened? We asking you what happened? What happened? He said, I don't know. I, what, what, what happened? I said, you just stood up and passed out. He said, I don't, I don't even know what happened. We don't even know. Man, we were so relieved that it was nothing serious. We, we just didn't know what to do. It was a, really a shocking moment. We parents, we, and I, I, I just couldn't believe nothing like that happened. It was a shock. I just didn't understand it. And immediately I got mad. I said, this Kevin Hart motherfucker, he too goddamn funny. He got my mother about to kill my motherfucking son. And I'm thinking to myself, how can I tell Kevin Hart to shut up to write this nigga a letter or something? What the fuck is going on? And then it, I calmed down and I was like, well, well, maybe maybe it was an accident because I had never experienced nothing like this. I'm a parent. I never experienced nothing like this. Like my son was laughing, watching Kevin Hart, and he just passed out. It was a shock of my life. I had never seen it like this before. This is a real experience. I literally got the, um, it's called Vasal Vagal. That's the you can look this word up. That, that happened. So anyway, we the next day we 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 finished watching it. We calmed down. Everybody went to sleep. Next day, nothing happened. So I told one of my cousins. I said, "Yo, man, my son passed out. Listen to Kevin Hart." He said, "What?" I'm not talking about. We listening to Kevin Hart. He literally just passed out. He said, "What?" <laughs> that sounds crazy. I said, "You telling me?" I didn't understand what the hell happened. He just passed out. And my cousin said, "Look, you know what? Did you take him to the doctor?" I said, no, nah, no, nah. he, he was cool after about, you know, a couple of minutes. He, was cool. he said, you ain't taking him to the doctor. I said, no, nah. he, he was all good. He came back. He said, man, are you crazy? Man, take your son to the doctor immediately, man. You don't know what the hell could have happened to him. And I said, wait, what? Come, uh, okay. So I, I go, I brush to the kid. I, I take him out of school. I take his butt to, to the doctor. And, and I tell the doctor what happened. I said, yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, he's watching a comedian on TV. And... He was about to stand up. We, we was just in a room watching the TV and just, watch, you know, a kid in the room with us and he's about to stand up and he passed out and he was out. He don't know what happened. He had no memory of what happened. He just passed out. And the doctor said, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I heard of that. That's called vasovagal. We said, what? I never heard of the word before. He says it's called vasovagal. I'm going to spell it for you if you think I'm kidding about this. You think I'm kidding about this. The, the word is called, it's called, it's, it's, it's spelled V A S O. V A G A L, V A S O V A G A L, and that's the word that God, the doctor told us as parents. He said that's called vasal vagal. So if a kid or a person stand up too fast while they laughing, they could pass out. I said, what in the? Heck? I had never heard of nothing like this before, man. So my son literally had to experience that, and I was laughing after this. It, it became more comfortable and okay. Because I was like, damn, so Kevin Hart didn't damn near kill my kid. This is something that happens that people could, they could stand up and laugh. And I said, oh, I get it now. Okay. So it was a little funny. And I just wanted to tell y'all that so that y'all know what happened. My son literally does comedy right now today. He is a comedian. He's doing shows in L.A. He's doing shows around the cities and stuff like that. We proud of him. You know what I'm saying? So Kevin Hart inspired my kid to do comedy, but it literally was a life-threatening situation. And I'm not kidding about this. We as parents, I, 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 it scared the shit out of me because I ain't never seen my kid like un unconscious and shit like that. Man, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And I was mad as hell. I'm like, Kevin Hart, you motherfucker. But but I'm like, how would I know him? Like, I ain't never seen that man. I know he probably live in different states and shit. Like, what the fuck, man? It was just a shock, man. It was a shock, man. And and I, and I, and I know as a parent, y'all probably listen to me like, man, get the fuck out of here. I am so fucking serious this happened to me. And I think my son was watching one of his older videos because he was a kid. So he was either watching I like, Laugh at My Pain or one of the new, one of the older ones, because as a kid, they was, I guess, you know, video game dudes. So I guess they was just getting into Kevin Hart at that time. And they was listening to his stuff. And he was, this, this particular day, he said, y'all come in here and watch him with me. We was like, okay, but I remember being a kid asking my parents to watch Eddie Murphy. I mean, I'm sorry, Richard Pryor with me. Because he was using profanity. I'm like, can I watch this? They like, yeah, we'll watch it with you. Come on. Dying laughing as a kid. So I, when he said, come watch it with us, I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, we're going to watch it with you. And look, he ended up being a comedian after that. And so that's the word. It's called Vasal Vagal. You can look it up yourself. Like and subscribe. It's your boy Hood. That's the true story. Ain't no, ain't no kidding. Ain't no joke on that. Well, that really did happen. It scared the shit out of me. But now you know all the uh, facts about that scenario. So I'm about to get up out of here, and I'll holler at y'all later. Like and subscribe. It's your boy.